It might look more like a Jackson Pollock painting, but scientists have constructed the largest ever 3D map of the universe showing more than a million galaxies up to 6 billion light years away. The map helps to reveal the scale of our vast universe, which is thought to contain more than 100 billion galaxies. It has already allowed researchers to make one of the most precise measurements yet of dark energy, the mysterious force that is causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. An international team of astronomers, co-led by Dr. Rita Tocheni Rowe from the University of St. Andrews, produced the map using data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey 3. The team mapped a volume of 650 cubic billion light years, including galaxies that are more than 6 billion light years away. Over the last decade we have prepared and conducted the largest survey of the universe yet, said Dr. Tocheni Rowe. By measuring the positions of 1.2 million galaxies over one quarter of the sky, we mapped the three-dimensional structure of the universe over a volume of 650 cubic billion light years. The map has been used to make one of the most precise measurements yet of the dark energy currently driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Using this map we were able to make some of crispest measurements yet of how dark energy is driving the expansion of the universe. Dark energy is a phrase used by physicists to describe a mysterious something that is causing the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark matter is thought to be the gravitational glue that holds the galaxies together, since just 5% of the universe is made of known materials such as atoms and subatomic particles. Shaped by a continuous tug of war between dark matter and dark energy, the map allows astronomers to measure the expansion rate of the universe and thus determine the amount of matter and dark energy that make up the present-day universe. Hundreds of scientists from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey 3 collaborated to make the map. A collection of papers describing these results was submitted this week to the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Although the volume surveyed was huge, it constitutes only a tiny proportion of the entire universe. If we were to scale the volume of our survey to a cube one mile on each side, then the visible part of an individual galaxy would be about one millimeter across, Dr. Tocheni Rowe said. Our challenge in the analysis of this map was equivalent to measuring the distances between all the pairs of galaxies separated by 100 yards throughout a cubic mile of space. Dr. Florian Boitler from the University of Portsmouth, who led two of the papers submitted this week, said, if dark energy has been driving the expansion of the universe over that time, our map tells us that it is evolving very slowly if at all, the change is at most 20% over the past 7 billion years. The map also reveals a distinctive signature of the coherent movement of galaxies toward regions of the universe with more matter, due to the attractive force of gravity. Much of what scientists know about the relative contributions of dark matter and dark energy comes from the relic radiation left behind from the Big Bang, called the cosmic microwave background. The cosmic microwave background is the thermal radiation left over from the time of recombination in Big Bang cosmology. Dark energy had been previously determined to significantly influence the expansion of the universe starting about 5 billion years ago. But the new survey measured it from before this point, 7 billion years ago, out to near the present day, 2 billion years ago. We see a dramatic connection between the sound wave imprint seen in the cosmic microwave background 400,000 years after the Big Bang to the clustering of galaxies 7 to 12 billion years later, said Dr. Tocheni Rowe. The ability to observe a single well-modeled physical effect from recombination until today is a great boon for cosmology. The observed amount of infall is explained well by the predictions of general relativity. This agreement supports the idea the acceleration of the expansion rate is driven by a phenomenon at the largest cosmic scales, such as dark energy, rather than a breakdown of our gravitational theory.